Hello and welcome to a new video. This one is a little bit, well, this one is special because I got some new materials that I would love to, for, uh, to share with you guys. And so let's just get right into it because I don't like long introductions myself. All right, so the first thing that I have here is gold paint. This is actually watercolor and it's from a company called Puritake. Puritake. I never tried this before. I was just like online looking for somebody that can give me good watercolor and everybody's super on this one. So I'm going to use it today and explore it. And see how it does. Of course, I have to do this in a crazy way. With a palette knife, anything that can open. Ooh, look at this! All right, I love when there's like new materials. I love the feeling. I guess that I have to keep the cup because it didn't came with a cap. A look at this. Will I be able to fit it in? <gasps> no. Oh my god. This is gonna be fun. Okay, we'll deal with that later. Alright, the next thing is I love to make cards. I actually purchased this one from Strashmore. These are the envelopes. Look how pretty. Look at the texture. Okay. These are from Strashmore. And I purchased a big pen, or well, not a big pen, but um, a block, a bigger block, and I also got Fabiano Artistico. I worked with this paper before, and I really liked it. I liked it. This is Hanemu. That's what I read. Pardon my. Let me see if I can put it. I'm just gonna leave it on the side, okay? I don't wanna throw it in the garbage as of yet. I'm just gonna can this right through. Okay. Ooh, oh yes. This is beautiful. Look. Let's see the way the cards come in. This is it. Very nice. And of course, you can dedicate it. Oops. To. Uh, these are very nice. I always think of cards as a collectible item. So, I'm just gonna put that on the side. And these are also cards. This is from Fabriano. These are also cards. I just, I just want to see how they come in because I know I have stretch more, but I never purchase from Fabian. Yes. All the plastic, <laughs> okay. Ooh. So it's a five by seven, not actually a card itself, it's just a five by seven. This is a block. You really can do it. Actually glued on the side. So there's not much to be done there. It's over here. And last but not least is these beautiful set of colors. I don't know, I fell in love with it when I saw it online. Let me just um, move my sketchbook to the side. Oops, sorry. I'm not getting everything. What's wrong with me? These are Kuretake. Um, look at the package. Beautiful, gorgeous. Okay, this is gonna. Let's 
Raise this up. Just line up colors so you can see. Beautiful. Look how pretty. You just go up right there. Of course, this has a plastic. They come off. Which you should keep them in plastic. I don't know. I have some. I always have. I have left my watercolors outside and I just like if there's a, like a, if if they are actually really good about watercolors nothing happens but I just don't trust so I will keep that plastic with me these are the colors there is red of course and this is my favorite color of all time, which is Rose Mother. I, I want to try how it looks. This one is Rose Mother Deep. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom in. This one is Cadmium Scarlet or Scarlet. Usually it's Scarlet Red in some of the companies, but this is Cadmium in here. Of course, we have Lemon Yellow or Yellow. My favorite, Ogre. I'm sure this is called, oh, wait, sap green. And this one is sap green too, very in green. And for this package is actually hooker's green. And ultramarine pale. Well, I'm actually um, reading this one. So this is sap green, sap green, and hooker's green. Then you have Viridian, of course, which is a little bit more bluish. Then you have your Indigo, your Ultramarine, Jesus Christ. Then you have your Turquoise. And again, each company does it differently. That's my favorite color right there, okay? Ultramarine here is Ultramarine Pale, Indigo, and this is cobalt cobalt violet it's called this one beautiful you have your white your black and burnt sienna it's very chocolate it looks like chocolate okay so we're gonna try this i'm excited so Since I'm not going to, well, I would love to, you know what I like? Hold on a second, one second, one second. Oh yeah, this one, I like that. Wait, I don't want to break it, but. Oh yeah, I like this. I like this a lot so the one the this one that i bought is from this um palette so a color that i know that i'm not going to be using i can take it from here and then put it in because i wanted to try this so i'm going to try the the gold first to see how it does and then I'm going to, I need like a nice brush. Okay, let's just try. All right. Let's put it on the side. Let's go with the gold. I wanna try the white because I know sometimes some companies, white color is not that great. So let's see what the white does with Kuretake. Just gonna lower the camera and get a piece of paper from here. And we're going to 
to wet the glue first, of course. Let me see if I can lift this up a little. Okay, this almost takes all, more, most of my space is taken by the palette, but I don't mind. I like to work in small spaces anyways. There we go. Where is the, mm -hmm. I am forgetful. Okay, so. I'm super excited, so let's just wait it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This is okay. So I'm trying to wait the whole thing. I'm just go so in so you can see. And then we're gonna. Okay. This pigmentation ain't bad. This is actually really good. Let me see how. Question will be if it actually makes it um, like if you give a little bit more tries on top of it, like will it get golder or it will be just it? I see. Oh no, this is great. I actually had from Schminke. I'm sorry so you can see this is not bad I actually like it I like it get a little bunch of stuff at this thing okay so that's the goal right there nice for details huh okay and then I'm gonna try all the colors just gonna try the red here. Nice. My my mother. This one is a little bit more lighter. Okay, Mary, you have to like really let people see. Okay. Let's go with the scarlet. These are nice. These are nice colors. This is like for transparency and stuff. You can see, see how the yellow. Does here on my mess. Let's see that yellow ochre that I use so much. Mm -hmm. This is really dark green. Just on top of it, let me see how they laid together. Oh, this is actually really nice. So you see, like, you can see how the color marries itself with the other one. See what it does with the shadow. Have a nice shadow. Let me see the black. <gasps> wow. Listen, I've tried blacks before, like, it's always like so opaque. This one is actually very rich. I'm liking it. Did I find my new favorite? And, whoops. I'm gonna try the white one, because now I'm curious. This is pretty deep. This is the white on top of the black. Hmm. Not bad at all. Alrighty. So these are a big look. Of course, you know the paper is not that great, but 
you have an idea on how this watercolor this is very very nice i'm glad that i made that choice and then so now i'm going to create something <laughs> 